This is another seasonal weekly anime called Level 99 Villainous, and from what we've seen in the trailer, and even Annie News talked about it, it should be super hype. I hope you guys will enjoy this. Let's begin today's reaction. CGI cart! This looks so Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do they always just use horses and carts as CGI's in the anime, dude? Every fucking time. But look at this dude driving it. This looks even fucking... What the fuck? This is so jarring. It doesn't really matter, but holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh my... Oh! 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 Like, it doesn't matter at the end of the day, but goddamn! This is an atrocity! <laughs> More CGI carts. Yeah, a lot of CGI cartridges. I see it. Yeah, carriages. Sorry. A lot of dragons. Royal Academy. So this is going to be like a battle... Like high school, magic high school kind of shit? What? Uh-oh, Granny. What's wrong? But this pink hair girl is not the main character, right? The black hair girl is. So she seems to be like some kind of healer. Money. Pay for my tuition, bitch. Okay, whatever. Okay, level one. This is important, right? Level one, because this show is called Level 99 Villainous, okay? She would have died. Yes, she is. Okay, their dorm lives as well. Uh-oh, 6 p.m. It's too late. The gate's closing. Oh, you fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> This person's really just gonna watch this girl fucking make it their trip and still close the gate and say no? <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> Bro, come on! Are you just Oishi right there, dude? Are you. The bell is still ringing, you're monologuing! Okay, dude. What a dick. What a dick, dude. <laughs> Arisha and Light. Another first year, but already is kind of power tripping. <laughs> what a keener, dude. I fucking hate characters like this. Ah, uh, I hate characters that's always like, the rules are absolute. You gotta follow these fucking rules that's been set by boomers in the past. That makes no sense anymore, but it's fine. Don't even think about reforming. Just follow the fucking rules. Don't even think. Just never think. Only follow the rules. L, I hate these characters. <laughs> Find the fucking hotel, bitch! <laughs> this is fucked. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Power tripping. Yeah, it's classes and not racism. Yeah, you're right. Uh oh oh. Alright. Ah, he's playing hard ass. All right, I mean, there's a secret path that I mean, you could technically get in. I didn't tell you anything. Okay. Alright, alright. He's being a little bit lenient. I like him. Or, I, I like him a bit now. Alright, alright. Maybe I was too harsh on him. Oswaldo Grimzardo. Oswaldo Grimzardo. No funny names like Baruto Farto. Oh, so familiar already. Nicknames. I mean, he's still, I, 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 the, the best part, when she was just like slowly closing the gate as she was running, he's like, and then he wants her to fall. <laughs> and now she's like, oh, you're so nice. Well, he did give us a tip at the end, but still. All right, bye-bye. What the fuck you blushing for, huh? You falling for her? Better open the fucking gate then. Oh, other students climbing in. Pseudo. Hello. Yo, why is the red haired dude is always the fiery sporty types? I swear to God, this is the case for every fucking character. So, is this already a reverse har informing around her? Right? Like, like straight up, are we gonna get a purple hair dude coming in soon and a green hair and just a bunch of guys just surrounding this girl? What? <laughs> William Ares. 
You bet I am. Okay. Just sneaking in alcohol? Okay. Okay, so there's like a hazing ceremony, init initiation. Oh, better take my hand. All right, romantic, smart. Oh. Yeah, you noticed that? I planned that. Look at my muscles. And he's done. Yo, he's... It's quite the entrance. Wait, we landed on a blonde dude. What is this? Is he the crown prince? What is he? <laughs> Alright, husbando number three has appeared. Let's see. Ed. Alright. We got blue hair guy, red hair guy, blonde hair guy. Will and Ed are childhood friends. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Varshai? Oh my god, the second. Oh, second prince. Not first, though. Was well, that not the opening? That wasn't the opening? Wait, what? Okay. The alcohol? You are expelled from the academy. Light magic. So, like, so far, even the opening was troll, right? It's called Light Magic. It's like, the title of this anime was not what the opening was doing. So the, I feel like the anime is fucking trolling us, setting us up. Focusing the story on this girl and the husbandos. And they're already hyping up, oh, Light Magic is so rare. But it's like, Yumeria has, like, Dark Magic, right? And it should be even more rare. So we're going to set the stage up to be some kind of ultimate game environment with these characters. And then Yumeria... Isn't this the Isekai so? I don't even know. When is it gonna happen? Yeah, we did a fucking game opening reaction reaction there, dude. What the fuck? I feel dumb as fuck. Alright. Are you sure? Okay, it's the kingdom's last hope. The commoner with light magic. Oh, what's wrong? What do you mean? You already have three husbandos with you. Nah, some husbandos gonna help you with the extra duties for sure. <gasps> An intruder? No way. <laughs> I'm a country bumpkin, so they shouldn't target me, but oh, wait, wait, wait. Who that? Who is it? Blonde hair. <laughs> what the broom? Oh, wait, it's the second prince again. Hello, second prince. Hmm. Oh, the second prince and her in alone in her room? Yo, this game is too fucking easy for her. She's just surrounded by the husbandos. But I never wanted to be a royal. I is every fucking crown prince in an ultimate game always the fucking same? They're just like, oh, I was born into this. I hate all these responsibilities. But then there's like the commoner main character heroine girl is who like understands him. It's like, let's run away together. I'll abandon my you know, royal title if it means to be with you or some shit. Like what? Violent? I mean, she did bonk him with the broom. Yo, I feel like we're getting trolled so hard. You're right. We are getting trolled so fucking hard. Like this intro part of the anime episode probably doesn't fucking matter at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is from the perspective of Yumeria playing the game because the trailer was like, she played the game, you know? Hmm. 
so she's not playing the game. She's right there. She's right fucking there. Black hair. I might be tripping. I might be tripping, but I think that's her right there, right? Why the fuck would they show a black hair girl right in front of Alicia? That's like kind of hidden. No, 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 no. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Rizzing her up. Oh, Tenka's looking at me too. And the fucking dude that locked me out of the gate. Ooh. Main character. The real main character is here. Level 99. Hello. So she knows her already? Because she's played the game, right? Because she's played the game. Isekai. Yeah, this is so far quite the setup. Like, anime only that hasn't watched the trailer is gonna get hit in the back of the head with a steel chair. Pretty soon. This is an interesting setup, though. Oh! So this is probably from Yumeria's perspective of like the late game stage of the ultimate game when this group is fighting her. Right? Because she has ties to the demon lord somehow, right? Die. Alright! Light magic, go! You can't do incantation list? Oh my god, wow! So in the game, she loses like this because the light magic counter is dark, but surely Yumeria has learned from this and then what? Alicia, you did it! You defeated the demon lord! Okay, you made it a perspective now of playing the game itself. And the other husbandos get cucked? That's what you get for not being the crown prince. Well, second crown prince. Ah oh, shit, you made it a setup? Let's see this. She got a fucking poster of some husbando game. Her bed's pretty- Okay, she- yeah, you got the modem right here, I guess. I don't know what the fuck this cute little teddy bear. Her room is pretty- pretty normal. Alright, she got a sick setup. A single monitor setup, but still, okay. <laughs> that opening reaction we did was for the fucking ultimate game, dude. We got baited so hard. I can't believe this. And then what? The hidden boss. That's you? <laughs> you know, we have Barto Farto in Mob Seca, but here we have Dorkness. Yumeria Dorkness. Dark magic? I was five years old when I regained my memories from my previous life. So this is already when she got reincarnated. But like, how did she get reincarnated? Truckun! Ah, it's been a while, you know. It's been a while since we've had Truckun show up for Nisika. Recently, there's been a lot of summonings, you know, a lot of different people like stabbing, but finally, Truckun is finally back. Here we go, here we go. She's like a noble too, right? Yeah, that's why there's like servants here. The hero and the saints. Oh, really? I mean, this is more purple than black, but okay. So she plays the role of the villainess. Oh, poor girl, man. Everyone just like is scared of her? We've never met the parents? We've never met the parent? Level 99. Level 99. Yeah, the bullshit light magic counter, dude. How do we beat this? And that's a huge thing. She can use dark magic that no one else can. Aww. Based. Base, she doesn't give a fuck about the dating sim aspect of the game, even though she's playing ultimate game. She only cares about the combat. <laughs> skip the dialogue, skip the dialogue. Three conquerable characters. Live out your own ultimate game here. Level 99 villain. Oh, I could just lay low and enjoy peaceful school. Nah, don't be a mob. Nah, start some shit. Let's go. 
Start some shit. Alright, her plan right now is to just chill. Okay, training arc incoming. Training arc, let's go. No, not the pure slime. Hey. Hey. No! Okay, if you kill a monster, magic stone, currency in the game. Cool, 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 okay. She's so cute like this, man. <laughs> Look at this little darkness, man. He's a gamer. She's just hard farming. Okay. And making hella money. Amulet of growth. What is this thing? EXP boost. Smart. Two times EXP boost. Let's go. She is a gamer, man. She's fucking min-maxing. This is so funny that this little toddler is already attempting this dungeon, but like, you know, in solo leveling, what we're watching right now, the first episode, everyone's getting wiped the fuck out while this five-year toddler is just fucking grinding. Alright. She can regenerate an arm too. That was so easy! You just skipped it! Okay. Monster... So, min-maxing even harder! Drags all the mobs here, provokes them. Dude, she is farming! She was serious when she said she didn't give a fuck about the dating sim aspects. CGI! Alright, 10 years. That was 10 years of only optimal farming every single day. That's kind of crazy, right? 10, yeah, she fucking off screen the dungeon. That's right. She off screen the dungeon, but 10 years of pure, efficient gamer min max farming. How strong is she now? Level 99? What's your level cap? Probably dad's advice to her. <laughs> they don't need to be the eldest son. Don't worry. Just get. I'll have one marry you and become my. Heir. Dad's fucking min maxing, though. Dad's also min maxing. I mean, it's a political diplomacy. The whole point of going to the royal cabinet is probably for the network, too, right? Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> what if she gets. Where's the crown prince? Because we only have the second prince so far. That's fucked up. We've never talked to her parents before. Aged until 15. The parents never gave a fuck. And this is the first thing they say. Try to fucking yoink a second prince. Like, what the fuck? Oh, it's this scene again. She just watched it happen? I can't believe he just closed the gate so slowly in front of her. Okay, so her goal is still to just avoid them. Be a mob character is her goal. For peace. But I don't want that. I want shit to pop off. Everybody looks at her because of her black hair, right? That's the tyrant of the school! Because the black hair, right? Everybody feels that the black hair is like, you know, black magic and demons and fucking dark hair. You know, it's, it's all like related. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit more purple. So pop. <sighs> we will now assess your levels. This is, one of, this is one of my favorite things in any type of like entrance exam, orientation. You know, you get to fucking just pop off, right? So everyone's going to go, wow, level one. And then someone's going to be like, oh, this guy is level 27 already? And the U media goes up 99! Or maybe it'll break. Maybe it'll just break. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. Here we go. Level 1. Weak! Carry by her light magic. Fuck you, Alicia. She... She'd never check. Could you imagine? If she grinds to level 99 by in the first like three years, and then the seven years after that, the farming, which is like pointless, she was already at the cat. Well, technically, she's farming money too. <gasps> level 10? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I got this. It's gonna be so good. 
<laughs> this is gonna be so good, dude. <laughs> oh boy. Level 99. You done goofed. Uh oh. Here we go, darkness. Darkness, let's see it. Maybe it just breaks, right? You touch it, it just cracks. Or it's like question mark. All eyes on her, man. Ooh, ooh. Nine, nine! Motherfucker! <laughs> The KMP must be broken! <laughs> QGQ! <laughs> this is everything I wanted and more. I love moments like this. This might be a common trope, you know, but I fucking love it in any orientation. Fucking, you know, like ex entrance exam. Just like popping off entire in front of the entire cohort. Oh, this is classic, dude. Oh. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> okay. Oh, yo, he looks a little pissed off because he was like level 15 or some shit, right? Or level 10? <sighs> so she can't do a mob life anymore. She's already thrown into the spotlight. He was 10. But that's the episode. Goddamn. The first part of the episode, super troll. Even the opening was fucking troll. Because I was looking at the opening and I'm like, light and magic? Wait, well, I thought this is level 99 villainous, but it's like, no, that's the ultimate game. So they fucking bait us with the ultimate game opening. Whatever. We'll include in the reaction. It was pretty funny. It was pretty fun, right? And they did an entire setup just to get us in the environment of this show. You know, there's Alicia, light magic commoner, but has light magic that can counter the demon lord, right? Has the three husbandas because it's an ultimate game. But... Turns out none of them fucking matter because the true character, the true MC of the show is our girl, Umelia. She's been farming since she was a baby. Fucking 10 years of farming. And the coolest thing is that she's a hardcore gamer, huh? She didn't give a fuck about the dating sim aspect of this game. Only combat. She just gets two times the XP. Fucking gets like, you know, the provoke thing. Just farms this dungeon for 10 fucking years. It'd be hilarious if she already reached the level cap in the first like three years or something. So she like pretty much wasted the last seven. Whatever, it doesn't matter. There's this dragon that keeps showing up, which is kind of important. And in the opening, we did see like Umelia riding a dragon. Maybe that has some significance, but so far, for the the first episode i think it was pretty fun it delivered on this you know power fantasy era where she basically you know does the power assessment and everyone's like what the fuck huge you cute because everyone was hyped at the red hair dude being like power level 10 massacre and then 99 shows up i love moments like this i hope you guys will give this a try even though it's like an ultimate game well technically mob Psycho is an ultimate game too but you know i feel a lot of people will not give this show a try based on the fact that it is, it is like an ultimate game right but i feel like this could be one of the most entertaining animes that we could watch this season but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care